Doctor of Cyclonic Wolfos, and we're howling back at you with our week three numeral choice versus the Quira Novaka Syndicals from last season. We are doing a doubles match with them this time instead of singles, so we might have a little bit of an edge, and hopefully he doesn't hack us to death. He doesn't have flinch kiss this time, so we're good on that. We're good on that. But we're waiting on Soy to pack up and snap up. I can show off the team. Finally getting this baby in action. I had got this DAs ago. Waiting for him to say he's ready. I got Tito, Crystal, Thirtonator, Cradilly, and Lapras. Ooh, it's gonna be fun. Everybody's all set, everybody's all ready. And whenever Soy is ready to match up, I will match up with him. And this should be a lot of fun. Should be a lot of fun. Hopefully I can do a lot better than what we did last week. Uh, it depends on what he brings this week that I'm um, debating on. What my lead will be. So, whatever he brings this week is gonna be uh, deciding what I'll lead. I plan to totally, I'm expecting a Yavalto, I'm expecting a G-Max Rillet Boom. I'm expecting... What else am I expecting from him? I'm really expecting him to bring, um... Incineroar, obviously. He might bring the Grimmsnarl. I'm expecting the Seismitoad might come to navigate damage with the water mods I have. Uh, Crobat might be a bring, and Magnezone might be a bring for him. He might also bring Serena, because it has a good advantage against my, um, things. With my, my sand dish team. He could also bring Heracross or Cloyster as well. But I'm really expecting the Yavolto, the Rillaboom, the Incineroar, Magnezone, uh, Seismitoad and the Serena are the ones I'm expecting the most. Those are the ones I'm expecting the most from him. So yeah. Whenever he gets on it, I'll be jumping back into the video, but for now, enjoy, and we'll be right back whenever Soy's ready. Alright, and it looks like he's ready. And I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> uh, you can tell I'm nervous. Oh boy. Uh, that's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah, he wrecked my shop se last season, so. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> that was a bit of my burp. <laughs> We're fine. Everything is fine. I'm not fine, but it's fine. Oh, but yeah, like I said previously, that's what we're expecting from him. We're gonna match up in that probably immediately this time. There we are. Oh, I won't push the wrong button this time, so I promise. <laughs> uh, it's like, no, I don't want to battle you. Uh, don't make me battle, Zoe. That's basically what it was. It was what it was, right? Yeah, that's what it was. Nah, that's not what it was, guys. I'm just saying. Uh, let's go with um, random for that. And there's my team. We're finally getting to use our DA shiny that took us 506 raids to get with two, only two phases. So I'm finally excited to be able to actually use it in action. And I'm hoping this match goes well. I hope I prepped well. And... Alright, alright, he's a little bit- I told you uh, the main four I was correct. I did expect the hair across. Alright. So what will my lead be? Do I want to immediately go Lapras? And um... Everybody out? Or do I want to- how does he deal with my um... It would be Grimmsnarl that deals with my red, red, my red claw, red crazy. Um, 
What do you know? I don't think I gave anybody rocks this time. Hmm. I think I'm gonna lead. Uh, uh, let's lead Turtonator and um, Great Billy. Actually, scratch that. So you know, let's go big or go home. And if I need to switch, I'll switch. We're gonna go big or go home. We're gonna read our, our aces and the holes. So I expect him to do the same. Alright, so I, good luck, have fun. Fitting music for Soy, just saying. Oh, it's fitting music for Soy. What'd you lead in with Soy? Volta G Max Rinala? Granola. Alright. He didn't really leave it to Gibraltar. It's a Gibraltar now, guys! Deal with it. Alright. Alright, let's see, um... Oh. Nice beam, you! And use G-Max Resonance on... Let's just double into Polo Hill. If he switches out, he switches out. But I'm going big, we're gonna try to get our shields up. And we're doubling into that Yavolto to try to get that off the field first. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. I probably misplayed at the beginning, but... It's fine. It's fine. Go big, Lapras! How am I expecting my Rayquaza? Fake tears. Lowered my speediff. Oh, he lowered the crazer speediff. Lowered our special attacks. Ow! That did a lot of damage, man! Alright, we need to get that Yavaltal off the field. Retex? No. Alright, this should help a little bit. Volta's gone! Alright. Scary threat number one off the field. And we got our screens up. He probably has Brick Break to help against that, but the Yvaltal's dead. The Yvaltal is dead. We got leftovers for our Lapras, which is fine. Also, my I didn't realize the Rayquaza was so slow. I think it's because the Yvaltal is so fast. But yeah. Uh oh. Batman Rose? Okay, that's his Probat. Gotcha. Alright. Ancient Power. Let's do the same. I'm not really worried about the Grimstar, but that Crobat is kind of scary. The Crobat is kind of scary. Not gonna lie. It's fast. It's probably gonna kill my Rayquaza, but Rayquaza, if you're fast enough to outspeed the Crobat, that'd be nice, but you're probably not. Tailwind, okay, he realizes he needs speed, so he's uh, getting the speed control up, but... Okay, that's dead Rayquaza, it's fine, it's fine, not really. I was hoping to do damage on the Crobat. Alright, Crobat, die. To not focus sesh? Or did I just live on that amount? I just lived on that amount. Okay. Um. Fairy. Let's get Turtonator in. Let's get Turtonator in. I don't have to worry about Freeze Dry because he didn't bring it in. Flash cannon. 
And I need to get rid of... Just in case it doesn't KO, we're gonna try to get rid of that Grimmsnarl, because I hate that prankster. He's faster now with his tailwind up. But I'm hoping that extra bulk helps me out, because I believe his Grimmsnarl is here for utility. And that's about it. I mean, he took out my Rayquaza, which would have been the perfect threat for his G-Max Grimmsnarl. Or G-Max Grimmsnarl, for his G-Max, uh, Rillaboom. But... Oh... Sold in that match as when you go, George Ronaldo. Okay, what are you bringing in? Ah! Intimidate. Smart play, smart play. What are you doing with that default? Basiveness. We got our veils back up. He's probably gonna defog again here, knowing him. Probably not gonna do much, cause yeah, like I said, Grimstone will resist all that. Do I have a water move for Grimstone? I think I do, but as we talked earlier, Grimstone is not afraid of water. He is afraid of fighting. Mm. Let's do this, and... Let's try to get rid of that Batman Rose. And see what we get here. So Batman Rose is an annoying threat of a Crobat. Forgot how scary Crobat could be. But it's fine. Not really, but it's fine. I don't have any good switches in for this either, so I'm hoping to do some mitigation of damage for this. He's probably expecting me to do this, and he might switch out his Crobat, but I don't think whatever he brings in takes an Ice Beam. Fake out? Okay. And he faked out? Alright, that's fine. Not really. Defog. Bye bye screens. It's fine. We take out the Crobat this turn. Alright, Crobat goes down. It's two down. Whoa. Playing out my ears, man. His leftovers are gonna save my butt. Or my bacon. He's probably gonna bring Grimstar back in to set up his own screens. But his tailwind is mitigated now because he took out his tailwind user. So we're gonna see what he brings in. It could be the Rillaboom to take out some Mons Mine, but I don't think he bring Rillaboom out with my Turtonator on the field and knowing my Lapras has Ice Moves. There's the Heracross. I need to get this Grimmsnarl off the field, man. Let's do this, see if this helps. Helping hand into the Turtonator, and then Turtonator's gonna Scorching Sands. Oh. Raise defense, it's fine. He got, probably doubled into my Turtonator, didn't he? It's fine. He doubled into the Turt. And what are you bringing um, Grimstarl's coming back in? I still don't see him bringing in that Rillaboom yet. Yeah, Grimstarl's back in. I was gonna say, I really don't see him bringing that back in yet. And we got the burn! Nice. Uh, leftovers? Yes. Okay. Alright. Alright, his tailwind is now gone. Flame Orb. Eee, that's kinda. Alright. Let's 
do life do and see if that works. Rock tomb. Mm. Okay, live it, Turk. Let's oh. hoping you live it. It's fine. Not really, because I wasted a turn and misplayed there. But I healed myself in the process. I was hoping I'd get Turtonator in the process, but eh, I healed myself. Alright. Since the Tailwind is gone, I'm still scared about that Grim Snarl. And they're both burned. Uh, it's because of that Flame Orb, right? You are slow. You are slow. Oh, uh, what's your speed? Again. 81. It's 148. That would not be the play right now. Let's get Crustalin. Let's get Crustalin and try to do some flinch hacks. Oh. Uh. Well, let's try to take out on the on a Buto and see if that works. I know Heracross is faster. Drew. All right. Right in the group PC mail. It's fine. If I'd used the rock side, I did not double into that turret. He's probably gonna try to fake out me again, but it's fine. A rock sliding. Rock two. Ooh, that does so much freaking damage, mate. I don't like it. Let's see if we can take him out with an ice beam and a rock slide. See if that works. It's probably bulky. Yeah, it's bulky. I would fake out the Lapras, and then I would, um, finish off the, um, cross the with his, uh, bug. So let's see what he does here. Fake out Lapras? Yep. And this is where he's gonna kill my bug, right? Yeah! That dodge! Good crustal! Finally, I get some flesh hacks back on soy! Oh yeah! Biggie Berry, I hate that freaking berry man. Oh, finally I get some luck with soy. Alright, he's almost dead. I don't know what he's gonna do with that Grim Snarl. So I'm gonna rock slide again. And. Honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna ice beam. Let's see what you got. That G Max um Rillaboom is gonna be a problem though. My entire team's weak to that thing. He might switch out to save Dentro on the um Kabato. I'm probably saying that totally wrong. Oh, He's dead to burn it this turn if he doesn't switch out. Alright, Crustle goes down. What'd you do with, uh, Incineroar? Did you use Parting Shot again? Yeah. Attack. Special attack. Fine. Alright, so he's gonna bring in Geraldo and his G-Max Rillaboom. Cause he's down to three Pokemon. He's a grassy surge. Oh. I'm still worried about that, um... 
I'm gonna save that for that. Let's bring in Bulky McBulkster. And then we're gonna double target into... Ah, he rings the Sonora right back in. Knowing him, he's gonna fake out my Lapras so I don't use Ice Beam. Mm. He's gonna fake out... You're gonna be Bulky McBulkster. Do this and actually, I want to do. Let's see if this helps us out. He's gonna fake out Lapras, I believe. No, I can't G Max anymore. But I got the residual sand now. Yeah, I told you he was gonna go big. But did he fake out Lapras or did he fake out Great Dilly? Is the question. That's the question. Did he fake out either of them? And who did he target with his Rillaboom? Probably Lapras. Alright, good predict on that Lapras switch. Max Knuckle? Ooh. Yeah, that's a better. better. Oh, you hit Max Knuckled in the Great Billy? Oh, eh! Oh, eh! I was expecting him to do a Lapras, because that would have been perfect. He would have killed my T Tar. I'm not gonna beat this. Oh, that poison clutch! Grassy terrain is gonna be my bane of my existence, so. so my team is slow. Mm. Poison's gonna help a little bit, but I don't think it's enough to make the, the difference. Oh. Is he gonna pardon shot? And then switch in? He's probably gonna parting shot and switch in. This is probably gonna kill anyways. He's probably gonna max knuckle my um T Tar. Ooh, the Z Max drum solo that's gonna hurt. Yep. Yep. I believe that means it's life form, flare blitz. Ooh, that's probably a bit wiggly. Yep. GG soy. GG soy. There's no way I'm winning this. Uh, There's no way I'm winning this. But. We try our best, man. A Grim Snarl combination. Alright, Lapras. I don't think you're to live in this fight, buddy. You did your best. And yes, I forgot to nickname my Pokemon. Deal with it. Uh, this is why. And that's a good Lapras. Uh, you tried. You tried, team. But we didn't have enough in us to finish them off. We didn't have enough in them to finish them off. We did try. GG's to our opponent, Soy. He is a menace to society. <laughs> but we did it. I believe that was a close match, actually. I just misplayed too much. And uh, maybe next time I can make a comeback against him. But... I'm gonna go over our team real quick to let you guys know. And yes, I forgot to nick my Pokemon, but it's fine. Rayquaza only has a nickname because it was shiny. So we wrapped the life orb. I shouldn't have let Rayquaza go at the beginning. 
I should have done something else at the beginning because Akraza was my star ace that would have helped me out with that speed stat and such. And I really wish I would have kept it, but I had Dragon Ascent, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, and Ancient Power. And I made it. I believe I made you max speed. Yeah, I made you max speed special attack with the four on the special defense side. Obviously, that didn't help as much because that Yvalto. And Titar was a salt fest. I didn't save it from that drum solo, sadly. But I had max attack, hopefully, to make that ice punch happen. At earthquake, crunch, iron hit, and ice punch. The adamant nature. I was hoping it would split up at least one hit, but it did not. Frustle at that King's Rock for the flinches. Extra it said Shalmer, so it couldn't be crit itself. It was mocking that max attack stat with X Scissor Rock Slide Earthquake Poison Jab. And Turtonator had the result best. It had this match special attack with Shell Armor and Flag Flamethrower, Flash Cannon, Scorching Sands, and Shelter. With the lax nature. And then Cray Dilly, leftovers. Max HP. Storm Drain ability, just in case. And Giga Drain, Ancient Power, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb. And our G Max Laughers, which probably was the MVP of the team, he kept getting revised. If I would, if I would have had a little Aurora Veil still, and it would have got rid of that Crobat faster, it would have been better. Leftovers special attack was Max Shell Armor, and an Ice Beam Freeze Dry helping him and Life Dew. And such, it was a very bold, bold Laughers. But it was a very good team. It was a very good matchup, and I had a fun with the match. I made a lot of mistakes that I probably can remedy next time. I do know I, I misplayed with the Rayquaza and Lapras at the beginning, not switching them out faster, and I'm still learning when to switch in and out, but that switching for the Lapras probably saved that turn a little bit, but it probably didn't save too much because I probably could have... Actually, yeah, I don't know if that would have helped or not, but I misplayed at the beginning, so that's always where it is, so... But for now, I hope I'll catch you guys in the next one for our match week four. Four. <laughs> With the sassy Squirtles coached by Nick Coca-Cola. And I'm hoping uh, we do better and actually get a dub next time. But for now, I hope you guys are enjoying the matches. I hope you enjoyed today's match. GG's to the soy. But for now, this is your girl, Cyclonic Wolfos, signing off. Stay safe. Keep howling and stay furious, my friends. Bye!